Meningiomas are tumors that form on the membranes covering the brain and the spinal cord. In this scene, I'll give you a visual mnemonic for the characteristics and symptoms of this tumor. This time, I've taken a new job at the local meringue shop. Let's head on over. The meringues here are awesome by the way. Just like biting into a cloud. See that plate of meringues there? Meringues make me think of meningiomas because meringue sounds a lot like meninges. Meringioma, get it? Meningiomas are tumors arising from the meninges, which is the medical term for the membranes covering the surface of the brain. In the world of meringues, my boss is the best chef in town. Yeah, her meringues are super famous around here. The boss is female, which helps me remember that meningiomas are more common in women than in men. It's not so easy running a bake shop. You see, she must be restocking into the night for the next day. The next day? Yeah, it's super late right now. Just take a look outside. It's already dark out. You see, running a bake shop isn't easy since people tend to come by in the morning. This means that we have to work during the night just to be ready for the next day. The night also helps me remember that meningiomas are tumors found in adults, since nighttime is our recurring symbol for adulthood. You see, the days are symbol for childhood, since children are like the morning, so full of energy. And the night that follows represents adulthood, because, well, you know. Just remember that we have to come in during the night to prepare for the next day, and you'll remember that meningiomas are tumors arising in adults. Next, take a look at our boss's cap. Yeah, she takes her job way too seriously, even wearing that marine cap at night. I guess she is the face of the business, after all. By the way, this meringue cap around her head helps me remember that meningiomas are found near the surfaces of the brain. This should make sense since meningiomas arise from the meninges which form the protective covering around the brain. Note that meningiomas are also found in the parasagittal region which refers to the area around the midline of the brain. This should make sense since the meninges actually enter the brain's midline split as well. For anatomy buffs out there, this is actually called the falx cerebri. Just remember the meringue cap here and you'll remember that meningiomas arise on the surfaces of the brain. Alright, now let's take a look at what she's doing. She's setting out a fresh batch of meringues for the display. Notice how the meringues are attached to a sheet of baking paper on top of a tray. Now if the tray is the brain, then this baking paper makes me think of the meninges or the membranes covering the brain. So the meringues attached to the outside of this baking paper helps me remember that meningiomas are found outside the brain tissue. In other words, they are extra axial tumors. Also, notice how one of these meringues has spread itself out and gone stuck on the baking paper. Looks like Boss went a bit cheap on the non-stick paper this time. This helps me remember that meningiomas may also have a dural attachment, or a tail. This is mostly relevant for imaging of the brain, in which you'll see little extensions of the tumor running along the meningeal membranes, as shown here. See that little tail of tumor on each side? It's just like the little tail meringue getting stuck to the baking sheet right here. Okay, being brain tumors, you can probably imagine what kind of symptoms meningiomas present with. Well, actually, contrary to what you'd expect, most meningiomas are asymptomatic. In other words, patients may not even know that they have them. However, some meningiomas may occasionally present with seizures, headaches, and other neurological symptoms. I didn't make a symbol for these because I thought it was pretty obvious that headaches and neurological symptoms would be seen with a brain tumor. So with that out of the way, let's get back to the story. Where were we? Ah, that's right. Our boss was taking the meringues off the tray. But did you notice how she's using a knife to literally cut them out? Yeah, that sharp edge really helps get underneath the meringues. You see, this picture reminds me of surgery, since meningiomas can be surgically removed. While most meningiomas are asymptomatic, the ones that do cause problems can be surgically removed. Since these tumors are located extra-axially, or outside the brain tissue, as we've already discussed, getting surgical access to these tumors is really pretty easy. Clinically, this means that the prognosis for meningiomas is quite good. Just picture our chef here cutting the meringues out of the baking tray, and you'll remember that meningiomas can be surgically removed. Now you're asking, what's my job here? Well, it's to do a bit of spring cleaning. Boss is just so busy that she doesn't even have time to clean up the shop. 
I mean, just take a look at the huge spider up there. This spider, by the way, reminds me of the word arachnoid, since spiders are also called arachnids. Meningiomas arise from arachnoid cells, which form the arachnoid layer of the meninges. Recall how the meninges are composed of three layers, the dura on the outside, the pia on the inside, and the arachnoid right in the middle. Meningiomas arise from the cells forming this middle layer, which you can remember by picturing this arachnid here. Next, take a look at this spider's web. Look familiar? That's right, this spider web has a lot of layers, or laminations. This picture is meant to help you remember the finding of somoma bodies. You see, biopsy or tissue samples of meningiomas will also show somoma bodies under the microscope. This is a fancy term for calcified layers of tissue, also called laminated calcifications. In reality, they look a lot like this spider web right here. Somoma bodies can also be found in other cancers, notably of the ovaries, thyroid, and lung. But the only brain tumor that has somoma bodies are meningiomas. Just know that if you're looking at a brain tumor biopsy with a somoma body, you should be thinking of meningiomas. Lastly, notice how this spider has gotten its hands on a fork. It must have thought the fork was some sort of food though, since it wrapped it up just like a bug. The wrapped fork kind of reminds me of a spindle though, right? Yeah, a spindle. Coincidentally, this helps me remember the appearance of spindle cells on biopsy. In addition to somoma bodies, another biopsy finding you should recognize is the appearance of spindle cells. These are long, narrow cells that resemble a spindle, and in meningiomas, these spindle cells often appear in a world pattern. Just remember our spindle here, and you'll know to look for spindle cells on biopsy. Okay, we're done with meningiomas. Before you go, let's do a quick review. Meningiomas are tumors arising from the meninges, or the protective membranes covering the brain. They are tumors of adulthood, and are more common in women than in men. Because they arise from the meninges, these tumors are often found attached to surfaces and the parasagittal region of the brain. They are located outside the brain tissue itself, but may also have a dural attachment, also called a tail. Most meningiomas are asymptomatic, but patients experiencing symptoms can have their meningiomas surgically removed. You should also know that these tumors arise from arachnoid cells, and two pathological characteristics to note are the presence of somoma bodies and spindle cells. Alright boss, I'm gonna get to work now. Save me a meringue for later though. That batch looks pretty killer. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. For more videos like these, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also check out the interactive version of this image at pixarize.com by following the link in the description. If you like what we're doing, share with your friends on social media and we'll keep making great content like this. We'll see you next time.